Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a very beautiful and sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday. We had a whole bunch of people here today. It was a lot of fun. Um, the kids came, Stephanie and her boyfriend and two little boys and Anna and her husband and girls. Haley and Jared stopped over with baby Val for a little while and it was just a gorgeous day to be out by the pool. We had a cookout with brats and hamburgers and Sarah, Anna's friend, came over and she brought the most delicious cucumbers. She said she makes them with mayonnaise and Miracle Whip and then the seasonings and they were to die for. And she also made some homemade salsa that had quite a bite. Like it was pretty spicy but I loved it. And then I ate too many Fritos, and then my stomach gets kind of funny because they're really greasy, you know? I know. I shouldn't eat the Fritos, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I see so many of you popping in here tonight. I'm like, where are my people? I need to play with my people tonight. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Marie. I saw Connie pop in. Lola's here from Suwamico, Wisconsin. Tundra, welcome, you guys. Tundra just joined my team. Yay! Um, Cindy's here and Helen Gilmore is coming from Michigan I think who I'm oh Kate Pape how are you I haven't seen you in a long time so um, we had a really busy weekend um, my stepdaughter Stephanie plays in a band she's a lead singer I'll try to remember to post a picture because I took a couple pictures last night we went and saw her um, about I don't know 50 or 60 miles south of here and she played for a big community picnic their band did and it was I just love 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 watching her and listening to her sing she has one of those voices that's a little deep a tiny bit raspy and it just gives you goosebumps and I am just so incredibly proud of her and it was funny too because I stand kind of off to the side right in front of one of the speakers which is like Rrr. But um, I was standing off to the side and I had my spot all night long and I could see her. The stage is over here and I'm kind of like on the side. And all of a sudden this guy that was like six foot six walks over and stands right in front of me like a door. Well, <laughs> I like tapped him on the shoulder and he kind of turned around and bent down because he can't hear. And I said, do you see that girl up there? And he goes, yeah. I said, that's my daughter. And he's like looking at me like this lady's crazy. And it's like, oh. And I said, and I can't see her anymore. <laughs> and he laughed and we laughed and then he moved behind me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like that. <laughs> I know what I want and I'm going to get it because you can't block me from seeing Stephanie sing. So anyways, it was really cute. But prior to that yesterday, Steve's mom and sisters put together a memorial for his dad and yesterday was around the one-year anniversary of when his dad passed away last year and so we went to my mother-in-law's house which is about 40 miles south of here and um, we had just a big party and it was a celebration and it was centered all around him so they had some really old photos of him and Steve's mom when they were first dating and when they got married and throughout the years and that was really fun um, everybody played bags. Well, I didn't because I'm terrible at it. Nobody wants to be my partner. Go figure. <laughs> like, I can't even hit the box. <laughs> I stamp, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Um, so anyways, um, they played bags and they played, you know, testicle toss. <laughs> is that appropriate? This is a kind of a family show. But you know what I'm talking. The, the, the tennis or golf balls and the end of the string that you throw them around the dealy whopper. They played that and what else? There was some other fun, oh, and then cornhole. That's what the bags is called. It's called cornhole. And um, then Steve and Stephanie's uh, boyfriend, they were the big winners. So they had like a tournament going and they won the whole enchilada. So they got a box with popcorn in the bottom that you put in the microwave and then it pops up. So they got a box of popcorn a, ba a bag of Fritos, which is probably what I was eating today, and a can of corn because it's cornhole. So they won corn prizes. <laughs> I know. I come from kind of a long line of funny people. <laughs> Not that I'm from his family, but they're all pretty, um, pretty 
amusing to say the least. So anyways, it was really nice to see family that I haven't seen in a long time. Steve's aunts came up from Milwaukee and that was really nice. And sometimes um, Aunt Cheryl watches me on here. <laughs> so Aunt Cheryl, if you're watching, it was really good to see you. But yeah, we had a, a really nice family gathering yesterday and amazing food. And I made the Woolworths ice, I think it's called Icebox dessert. If you guys remember going to Woolworths, I know we're dating ourselves now, but there used to be a counter where you could sit and eat at Woolworths, which was a store for those of you that might not know. And they had this um, cake. It was like a cheesecake cake and it was just the most delicious thing. Well, Anna messaged it to me um, last week sometime and said, I feel like you could make this because she knows I like to make dessert. And so I made that and took it to the party yesterday and it was a huge hit. So I have to write myself a note, dessert. I will share that with you guys because you guys loved the last dessert that I shared with you and I can't even remember. What was it? Do you remember what I shared? It was really good. Something really good. I can't, I don't even remember. Huh. I don't know, but you guys will tell me. I know you will because you have much better memory than I do. Anywho. I have got a ton of mail still to go through. I am still sharing birthday cards with you and I want to make sure that everybody's birthday card gets seen because that's just, I know it's fun and I really enjoy sharing them with you. Icebox cake, yes, Wendy, that is the name of it. Oh, it's so delicious, but I'll share that recipe because um, while it was a little putsy, because you know you got to mix the this and then the that and you got to chill the this and I'm kind of like, ugh. It was totally worth it, I'm telling you. It would be the biggest hit at um, your parties, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tina says she remembers the counters at Woolworths. I know, right? Like, we're getting kind of a little bit old. Oh, yeah, Lisa, it was the Buster Bar ice cream dessert. Yeah, and that was really good, too. So, um, I want to get to a few little announcements. Please don't forget to use your bonus days coupons. If you um, purchase or if you made an order over $50 in July, you should have a coupon to use for your order in August. And Janie says she remembers. She remembers the Woolworth counter, right? <laughs> um, so don't forget to use your bonus day coupons. I think that's over August 31st, if I'm not mistaken. And then one more thing. With the new online store, there's a question when you get done placing your order, or as you're almost done placing your order, that asks you if you want to opt in on the emails. And I do highly recommend that you say yes. I don't know if this is going to take away your contact information from me if you say no or not, but I'm the only one that's going to be sending you emails, and I don't send a lot of them. Like. Putting together a newsletter is something that I'm really not that good at. Um, I'm good at putting the newsletter together, but I'm not that good at doing it consistently, which is naughty, right? I'm, oh, I'm a little bit naughty. You guys know that about me. So anyways, I don't send out many newsletters or emails. I just don't because I'm, I want to, I have other things. <laughs> I got more important things to do, but I do try to do it at least once a month. But anyways, you want to opt in on that email. Okay, so when it says, do you want to opt in? Yeah, you do. So I just wanted to let you know that. And then, um, oh, I know, I was gonna show you guys. I got my new die cutting machine in the mail. These are super duper cute, right? Um, I don't even know how to use mine yet. I haven't used it yet, but look at this. And it folds right up. Whoops, sorry, that was loud. Ooh, that was loud too. It folds right up, says Stampin' Up on it. Yay, awesome little machine. And it comes with your bottom platform. Okay, this is a little bit thicker. It comes with, I don't know, a specialty plate. Like I said, I haven't even looked at this yet. I don't know how to use it, but I'm gonna figure it out. Um, two cutting plates, okay, so you got to have your cutting plates. And then, I don't know, another, oh, I know, sorry. This is your for your thin dies. This is your thin die adapter. This is a specialty plate like the blue plate, I believe, that we've been using with the new 3D embossing folders, okay? So it comes with all of this stuff and the handle. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to let you know, these will start to be available, um, I think, September 1st for 
the general public. However, if you would like to get your hand on one early, if you join my team, you could use this as your order because you get to order $125 of any product that you want. So you could make it this. These are 120 bucks, I think. And um, you get free shipping on it. So if you're in the if you're in the market for a new die cutting machine, I highly recommend joining my fabulous team of discount shoppers. You'll love it. And um, getting yourself a new die cutting machine. You can do that right now. But if you're just looking to buy a die cutting machine, you'll have to wait till September 1st. I think I have all those dates right. I, I think I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> put Haley right on that big boss. You betcha. Well, I'll tell you what. I have a little sad news. Like, I've kind of lost Haley now. I know, right? How did that happen? I didn't fire her. I would never fire her. She's really good. You guys know how good she is. But she's having to start back to work now. And she's a school teacher. And they just pulled the plug. They are not going to be doing in-person um, teaching. At least for the first quarter, I think, is what she told me. So, Lisa said she loves being on my team. Thank you so much, Lisa. I love having you. Um, yeah. So, and the other thing, I just had a team meeting on, let's see, Thursday night, and I ran into some technical difficulties. We're not going to have any tonight, like I'm counting on it, because I think I've, I've been through the ringer quite a bit lately with the technical difficulties, but um, I had a team meeting Thursday night, and I do my meetings virtually so that no matter where you live in the United States, you can always attend the meeting. They're a lot of fun. But my Zoom wouldn't broadcast live to Facebook. So I always do a Zoom team meeting and then I broadcast it live like to Facebook so that people who don't have Zoom or don't know how to operate Zoom can then watch on Facebook. It wouldn't do that. So I quick hopped on my computer and I typed in um, a link to the Zoom to tell all my team members that, hey, it's not working tonight. You're going to have to come on Zoom or just wait for the replay when I load it up after the fact. And I actually posted that right here. I know some of you got to watch my team meeting Thursday night. I'm like, what a cluster I am, right? <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, like Sylvia says, Zoom is not for her. And I, I have a really easy time with Zoom. I really like it. But yeah, so I posted the link for my team meeting to this page right here for all of you. So if you got to be at my team meeting, I hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun. We had a great demonstration. Um, we always have other people demonstrating. I did a demonstration. Tonight we're going to do some really pretty fall cards and I am going to share a mystery stamping with you again. So I have a little challenge for tonight. I love those. My, I, my team loves them. We did it with my team. So um, Debbie's asking, did you design your million dollar stamp set? Oh heavens no. I'm lucky that I have even gotten ready for tonight. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, and I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but um, we kind of had a week this last week, and a very, very close family friend, it's Anna's sister-in-law, um, I posted on my Facebook, my my personal page, a fundraiser for her, and she, um, she passed away this last week, so I, I've kind of been in a funk just trying to process all of that. She had three little kids four, five, and six years old, and so we have that to deal with this week and kind of last week, and I was kind of in a funk. I just didn't get as much work done as I was supposed to, and thank you guys all so much for the love because, you know, yeah, and um, so I'm going to get it together this week and <laughs> get a little bit more work done than I did last week. Thank you guys so much, um, but I will, I will, um, Oh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Let me think. That kind of threw me off. Um, DSP samplers. I'm just going to change the subject because I can't remember. DSP samplers are going out this week. Kathy Miller is coming over to help me tomorrow. We did a whole bunch of work last week on them. I told you guys they're extremely, it's a big undertaking. They're extremely time consuming. And we should have them in the mail tomorrow. So if you ordered the DSP samplers... They will be on their way. And this is all of the, um, it's for the holiday mini catalog. So this is what I'm talking about if anybody's new to me. These are in my online class store. 
so those will be going out. And then I also have a new kit class that I need to get together. I don't have anything done for that. And another new online class coming out using the Gilded Autumn. So I got a lot of things on my plate this week. I'm going to kick it back into gear. Oh, I know what we were talking about. Did I design my stamp set yet? Oh, heck no. I haven't even thought about it. And you know, I'm just really not sure what I want. Like there are people who just are specifically... They love trees, or they love flowers, or, you know, they are a certain style. And I, I'm just kind of all over the place because, you know, I'm the squirrel girl. Squirrel! You know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. So if anybody has any suggestions that they think I should know about, email me. Kelly at astampabove.com. And I have had some people that have sent me some suggestions. Like they think there should be a crown. And I've really thought about that, but I know that the stamp sets with crowns in them, they don't go over that well. And, you know, that's just kind of sad, but it's true because I think everybody should wear a crown. <laughs> and everybody should also have a unicorn. <laughs> this is my magic unicorn. Isn't it cute? My friend Barb sent it to me. So, anyways. Okay, back to stamping. Um, oh. You guys were posting some photos. Oh, I know. I posted the pictures of my walk with the deer, right? I see deer every day. Today I saw three or four fawns. It was crazy. They were just amazing. And I love going. I go for a long bike ride and then I stop at an arboretum, get off and walk around the outside of the whole thing, like through the woods. Um, so these deer aren't like fenced in or anything. It's just they can come and go as they please. But if I don't see any animals at the Arboretum, I feel like I'm not going to have that good of a day. <laughs> it's like kind of a taboo little thing with me. But if I see deer or I see a lot of woodchucks there or we saw a snake the other day. Molly went with me. We saw a garter snake. I don't think that makes me feel good about my day. But um, I always think if I see the animals, I'm going to have a great day. It's, it's just a silly little thing that I do. But you guys posted. I asked you. What's your day looking like? And you guys posted some pictures of your day. Like we had, we had somebody was at a horse shows, I believe. Um, we got pictures of swimming pools. I'm just looking through them right now. Um, we got pictures of pets kind of hanging out, beautiful um, flowers in a pot of what looks like chili. And it was just really cool seeing what your days were like. So I love it when you share like that. <laughs> Cindy says she loves my unicorn. I, I do too. Um, should we do it again? <laughs> okay, we have winners from last week. So there's three ways to win for commenting. So if you're new to me, please leave a comment. Even if you say, hi, Kelly from Detroit, Michigan, or wherever you're from. That enters you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And today, we have the Elegant faceted gems. I ordered a bunch of these you guys, so we'll pro I'll probably be giving these away quite a bit because they're really beautiful and nice and I love them. Um, from leaving a comment last week on my Sunday Facebook Live, the winner is Nina Whitehead from Broadhead, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Nina. I hope you're watching tonight. I don't know if I saw your name come through or not, but I see Margie's watching, so yay. <laughs> and Diane loves my unicorn. Thank you. Who doesn't love a unicorn? I don't think if you don't like if you dislike unicorns, we can't even be friends. I'm just saying. So, Nina, these are on their way. Next, for sharing this video, you can click on share right now, and that really helps me grow my business. You're going to share this video right to your timeline. You never know who you are friends with on Facebook that might be interested in joining us for this video, or they might be a stamper and you just didn't know it, or maybe they need to be a stamper. I think more people need to stamp, right? share the video, or if you're watching later on YouTube, you can also share the video. I have another gorgeous card kit. This is called Precious Parcel Card Kit. And please forgive me, I don't remember who donated these for me to give away, but somebody did. And these are absolutely gorgeous. They were again a celebration item, I think two years ago, and they did not last long. They were a very hot item. For sharing the video last week, Maria Gomez from Bloomington, Illinois. You are the big winner of the fabulous prize. Congratulations. Should we do this again? I think we should. <laughs> Next, look at this. 
This was also donated. This is senior, oh, let me, oh, should I turn my camera around? I don't want to mess things up. Oh, hang on just a second. Let me see if I can do this without messing up everything. Is this right? Nope. Hang on. There it is. Senior years. This has some really cute little images in it and some really fun little sentiments for placing an order last week. Again, if you place an order with me between last week and this week, you also get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes, senior years. And I know Peg Herrick of Hampton, New Hampshire is going to love this. Congratulations, Peg. This will be on its way to you. Unicorn? Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys were with me last week, that's what I wanted to say when I kind of lost my train of thought too um, a little bit ago. If you were with me last week and you came back to me twice, I had technical problems three times last week. It was a disaster on that front. First of all, my phone wasn't, pl I plugged it in up here, but it wasn't plugged in under my desk. So then my phone like quit broadcasting. So then I had to start over. And then I plugged my phone in down there, but it's not tight. It doesn't go into the outlet thing tight. So it kind of loosened up and it wasn't charging again and it went dead again. So I had to start over again. And on the third time, I took my phone and I plugged it in over there instead of under there and it was charging. And then my phone overheated and quit. <laughs> like, I'm like, I cannot win tonight, right? It was insane. So I am plugged in over there. My phone should not overheat. I'm gonna feel it. it feels fine. I have my air conditioning on. Can you guys hear me okay? Because sometimes that's pretty loud. just want to make sure that it's not too loud. Yeah, Melanie says, yep, came back a dozen times. Thank you so much. Because I'm like, people are just going to be done with me. I know you guys aren't. And um, technical problems, they happen. And, and bless your hearts for hanging in there with me and uh, going the distance. Marcia says she loves how I handle those disasters. What are you going to do, right? You know, sometimes I do have a hot flash, though, I'm not going to lie. Because when I get a little agitated or something doesn't go right, sometimes I have a little hot flash. But I, I really, I, maybe I did once last week, but it wasn't too bad. So I'm going to set those over there so I can remember that I need to send those out. Can I, I'm going to pull my shorts down because they're kind of creeping up. Okay, sorry. Maybe that was too much information. Maybe. All right, I'm going to get myself up here on the screen so we can turn this baby around and start some stamping. What do you guys think? Yeah, Cynthia says, we were fine with it. We just came back. I know you guys are glutton for punishment. <laughs> no, thank you very much. I really appreciate it because, you know, it's like you're working hard. You're trying to do this stuff, and then you, you – it was kind of my fault. Like, it was my phone's fault that everything didn't happen right, and I'm like, oh, people are just going to be like, oh, my Lord, I can't handle her. Lots of people can't handle me anyways. You guys are the tough ones. <laughs> Every once in a while I get comments like that. Like, eh, you talk too much or whatever. It's like, no, I'm not the person for you. That's okay. I'm not going to change. All right. I'm going to bring myself up here on the screen. Let me get myself muted because nobody wants to hear that twice. <laughs> right? No. <sighs> okay. And Kelly says she can hear me just fine. Hi, Kelly. It's good to see you tonight. Okay. I am up on the screen. I think we are ready to stamp. So what should we do first? I'm thinking we are going to do our mystery stamping first. So I'm gonna get that all unpacked. Now, if you're on my team, you guys know exactly what I'm gonna make because we made it, I made it, demonstrated it for you guys at the team meeting the other day. Um, but I have different colors, so. It won't be a complete repeat. I think you'll really enjoy this. I actually have a bunch of cards to make tonight. I think they're all pretty quick and easy, kind of. So, hang on, I'm putting my cord up. So, um, we can get a whole bunch made tonight. I think you guys are gonna love this. I chose, where's my stamp set? Hang on. Seriously? I had it. Oh, hang on. It's here someplace. And, oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, my Lord. I chose this stamp set. 
This is called Love of Leaves, and I love watercolor images. Like, I am a sucker for the watercolor images, and that's what these stamps are. They automatically make it look watercolory, and I absolutely love that look. So anytime we have any type of product in our catalog, that whether it's designer paper or stamps, I've got to have that first, and I absolutely love this one. So we've also got... Um, okay, they are matching dyes that I couldn't find. Holy cow. These are the coolest. Look at them. Look at this. Whoops. This giant thing. <gasps> I'm going to show you how to use that on the next card that I make. But I love these. And next to summer, fall is my favorite season. Not going to lie. So I thought we're going to do some fall cards. And these aren't really fall colors. Not really. They're pretty bright and colorful and fun. So something just a little different. And who just said that they have learned so much from me? Cheryl just said, oh, I am a wealth of knowledge and a fun person. <laughs> you can't have fun? Stay home. This is not the place for you. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera around. I need to unmirror my screen first, so hang tight. i got to click on that little wand. Everything's going to go different. You guys see that card? Yeah. That's my Stampin' Up! card. Those are my Stampin' Up! flowers. Rocking it. <laughs> Hang tight. I'm going to now flip my phone around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. We are going to do this. Oh, I have other, some other really kind of a little fancy news. Like Steve decided to get rid of his Subaru. So Bev, if you're watching, we may be calling you. Um, Bev's husband goes to the auctions and buys vehicles. And so we might be calling you and Steve has decided to buy a Ford Explorer, which we rented one when we went to Colorado last year, Wyoming, Colorado, Yellowstone, and we loved it. So I'm pretty excited about that because I, I kind of miss my Ford Explorer. This one will be much nicer. It'll have air conditioning. That works. <laughs> just saying. Okay, so these are the colors that I'm going to be working with. And don't you just love this? Like, this is not fall colors at all. But we're using a leaf stamp set. So you can definitely make all of these cards that I'm going to show you with fall colors. But I just wanted to show you that you can make them with bright and pretty colors that have nothing really to do with fall and really come out with some amazing cards. Now, First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to, let's, let's, we'll make this one. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you our mystery stamping. So mystery stamping is where I tell you a list of things and you're going to grab these things and then you're going to make your own card. First of all, you're going to need a card base, five and a half by eight and a half, any color you want. Then you're going to need, and I'll have this, I'll post this on my, on my page where you're watching me now. I'll post all of this and a little graphic for you to add your cards underneath in the comments. You're going to need a piece of Whisper White. This is um, uh, four by five and a quarter. You're going to need a piece of vellum. The vellum is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. You're going to get a coordinating, some type of a label or layer like this. It doesn't have to be this exact one, but something like this. And also a white label, okay? So can you see what's happening here? Um, and I have an envelope, I have envelopes because you know I like to stamp my envelopes up while I have my stuff out. Now, first thing we're gonna do here is I have three different colors. So I've got Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, and Bermuda Bay. I'm going to set all of this stuff out of my way, and we're going to stamp up our three. I'm making three cards, so that's why I have three white layers that are four by five and a quarter. I'm going to bring those out here, and we're going to stamp those first. And I've got all of my stamps right here in a little container. Let me get all my stuff out of the way here. Here we go. Here comes Mango Melody. Oh, by the way, this is my current host code. If you would like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. If your order is under $150, use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! I want you to have those, and you will find an online ordering button on my blog. Okay, that was a little commercial. <laughs> 
here comes these funky stamps and these are photopolymer which means they're the clear rubber and I absolutely love them so I'm going to take this one and stamp it just like that and I just want you to see how cool that looks because it gives you the gradient color is that a word gradient color like this has been watercolor and now I'm going to come in whoops and I'm going to stamp another one right here and then I'm going to bring in these other two because remember I'm making three cards here's one and here's two again whoops there goes my everything's falling over and next we're going to do this same way then we're going to switch colors oh um hang on as long as we're doing that i am going to bring in a piece of paper i'm going to bring in my envelopes envelopes however you want to say that envelope sounds like aunt and that's kind of fancy isn't it it's just the little things that really trip my trigger. Okay, I'm going to also stamp up my envelopes while I'm doing this because, like, you know, you got the stuff out, your stamp is dirty, get it, get it done, right? Comes another one, and last but not least, number three. This way, when I mail these out, they will be all ready to go. Okay, so I've got my three envelopes. Now we're going to change colors. And we are going to go with, how about, nope, I'm gonna go with my next, my green. My Bermuda Bay is my darkest color. So whenever I do something like this, it's kind of collage stamping, I use the darkest color with the smallest image. Otherwise it kind of takes over the whole thing. Just That's just the way that I do it. And I, I don't know, I think it's a good rule of thumb. It might even be some type of a rule of thumb that artsy people use, I don't even know, but. Someplace along the line, I heard it. <laughs> so I'm sticking with it. Okay, so here's my green. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. So we're just going to do our envelopes. Oops, I just stuck my finger in the ink. See it right there? Yep. And here comes our next one. Okay, so there's our envelopes with the green. Oh, look, I got, look at, I got green all over. Yeah. I'll fix it, don't worry. I'll show you how to fix it. It's always a way to fix stuff. Well, most of the time. Here comes my baby wipe. It's a little inky mess. And here comes our white. Let me move this out of the way. We've got our white, our white, and our white. So. We're going to stamp our granny apple green again, just like this. And then I'm going to do another one right down here. Oh my lord. I need to slow down, don't I? Who? Somebody always says, Kelly, take a breath. <sighs> there we go. I've got all the time tonight. I'm not in a hurry for any reason. Um, all my family left, so they're not, I can't hear them outside, you know, splashing around and having a great time without me, which is pretty hard to believe, right? <laughs> no, they do. <laughs> they're fine. They're pretty resourceful that way. And here comes Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to use, now remember I said my smallest image was the Bermuda Bay. Or, yeah, the darkest color is my smallest image. Look at those colors together. What do you guys think? Isn't this just so pretty? I love it. Okay, we're gonna get the rest of these done here. Like, like this, and like this. And again, this is just called collage stamping. Hang on, I got stuff falling over. I know you guys probably think my desk is clean out of the camera where you can see it, but it's not. No, I know you know it's not. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And Darlene says, and bright colors. Yeah, right? I love this color combination. Now see, see my smudges right there? Yes, yeah, smudges. There we go. I have ink on the block, so I'm just wiping that off so that I don't rock my stamp, but I just fixed that. Guess what? We have some more right there. Do you see them? 
smudges and I just fixed it. Yay me. Pretty smart, right? <laughs> yeah. And here comes another one. And I think I'll put maybe one more right there. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Here we go with our... Oh, we're done now. Huh. Huh. It's amazing what happens when you're having so much fun. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my little white labels. I'm making three cards. So I've got three white labels. Maybe. Hang on, I lost one. Oh, there it is. Here comes my white labels. And let's see, what are we going to say? I'm going to say the one that says, I'm so glad you're in my life. I love that. And I'm going to go with Bermuda. Oh, I better stand up for this. Now I'm going to get louder. <gasps> That's perfect. I'm going to grab my chamois. If you guys don't have a really decent product to clean your stamps, this chamois, S-H-A-M-M-I, you can find it in my store. They are amazing. And you just rinse them out with water. And I love them. And then Granny Apple Green. So, Mango Melody, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green. Okay. Let me move this so I don't ruin stuff. Now, I've got all of these labels already cut out. And I wanted to show you where these came from. These are from the Tasteful Labels dies, and you get all of these. There's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dies. I think that's all that goes in here. Ten dies in all different shapes for labels. This is a really nice set of dies. Again, Tasteful Label dies. If you want to get your hands on this, you can look that up in my online store. Just type in Tasteful Label, and it'll pop right up. Okay. So I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back. I gotta put them out here to the back of these white layers. And you might ask why I have black lines on my dimensionals, and I will show you in just a second. I write the black lines on there with a sharpie marker, and then when I bring in my take your pick tool and pick that backing off, I know that I've got it. I don't have to touch it to go, is that backing off of there? When we use our black dimensionals, the um, backing is white, so you can automatically tell that it's gone. And one of my customers said, you should do that with your white ones, just draw lines on them. And I'm like, oh my lord, you're a genius. So, I did a whole video about it. <laughs> Remember that, Haley? Yeah. Haley, we had a little discussion about it, and I like to kind of rub it in because it was pretty funny. Most of the time she's right, but this time I was right. <laughs> she said, that's a dumb video, Mom. And I'm like, nope, I think it's going to be a huge hit. And it was. People were like, oh my gosh, that's a game changer. I'm like, I know, right? So yeah, it was kind of funny. Okay, so I'm just putting these on my color-coordinated layers. Oh, that one's crooked. Hang on. There we go. <gasps> Look at how pretty they are. Oh, this one looks crooked too. Hang on. Ah. That looks better. Okay. So here we go. Now, I'm going to bring in... Let's close these up, right? Because we all know what can happen when you leave open ink pads on your desk while you're trying to be a rock star. <laughs> We are going to take our Bermuda Bay and burnish that edge. That's a word I learned from my UK demonstrator friends. I thought it was pretty fancy because they burnish the edge. <laughs> How's my accent? How's my English UK accent? Is it pretty good? Oh my gosh, you guys, that reminds me. I'm just going to start putting these together now so I have a little idle chat time. That reminds me. When Haley was younger, she was so funny. You get a couple drinks in that girl, and she would start talking in a different, like she was British. <laughs> that was so funny. We would laugh and laugh and laugh, but yeah, she would talk with a British accent. And we got the biggest kick out of it. Okay, we're going to take this layer, 
and we're going to add it to the front whoops, of all of our beautiful little cards. Doesn't this just make you happy? Like, that just makes me happy. I can't even. Happy colors, but yet I know that I can also use like Cajun Craze and Rich Razzleberry and Old Olive, and I can make some really beautiful fall, rich fall color cards too. So I love this stamp set. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I would have loved this to be my stamp set. How about that? This would have been a good one, but now we have this one, so I don't need to make one like this. Next, we are going to take, we're going to take this and add, whoops, let's do our Bermuda Bay one first. I'm going to add this to my vellum layer, okay? So I just want to center that nicely, just like this. Oh, make sure I get it. Does it look straight to you guys? Okay, it looks pretty straight. I'm going to do that on all my vellum pieces. Look, that was even a scrap. I stamped a Christmas tree on there. Here we go. This is the next vellum piece. Make sure I get the center down here so that I can do it that. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. I, you know, I know I'm a creature of habit. <gasps> Did I tell you? No. Um, me and Kathy went out for Friday night fish fry, because that's a big deal in Wisconsin. And we went to City Limits, which is just a little bar in my hometown. And I wanted a unsweetened iced tea. So I said, do you have unsweetened iced tea? And she said, no, we don't. I said, okay, well then I'll take a Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with olives. <laughs> That's quite a change, right? <laughs> she kind of laughed, but she made the best old fashioned I have ever had in my life at this little bar in town. It was amazing. Now I'm putting dimensionals just behind my label. Like, see how you can see that glue through the vellum? Well, I don't want to see any adhesive here, so I'm just putting my dimensionals behind my label because they're going to be hidden then. So anyways, um, I had a really good drink at City Limits, and then we had the most amazing clam chowder soup. And then deep fried haddock, french fries, oh my goodness. It was just a really kind of a fat weekend. <laughs> it's lovely. I loved it. All right, here comes my melon. And I just think this is so, so, this is a neat layout. Now, all those dimensions are going to hold your melon on there. It's not going any place. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, my screen isn't scrolling again. Darn it. I got somebody who's on Linda's on from Connecticut. I'm happy you caught me live too, Linda. Susan loves fish fries. Oh, I know, right? We're the best. Here comes our Bermuda Bay one. And last but not least, we have our Mango Melody. I almost forgot what it was called. Mango Melody. Oh, did I tell you guys? Oh, look, I got something on this one. Oh, it's just a little adhesive. I'll get that off. Um, I'm having my master bedroom is being remodeled right now. Um, Fred is my handyman, and he started that last on Monday. He started on Monday, and it is looking amazing, you guys. Absolutely amazing. I'm looking for my ribbon. Oh, here it is. You also have to have a piece of ribbon for your mystery stamping card. So I chose the polka dot tool. It's just a really nice soft look. You can see through it so it doesn't really take away from the um, colors or anything like that. So, oh, and if anybody would like to get one of these bow jigs, just pop me an email, kelly at a stamp .com. Not this part, but kelly at symbol a stamp .com. I'll hook you up with Cindy. Her husband is making them and boy, oh boy, they have been getting a ton of orders. So they're $10 and again, just send me an email that says I would like a bow jig. I will forward it to Cindy and you guys can take care of all your details. You, She'll ask you for your address. She'll probably PayPal invoice you or whatever you work out there. But um, 
yeah, these are really nice. So anyways, Fred is remodeling my master bedroom. So he took out the closet. Oh, and I'll have to show you guys pictures. My master bedroom is butt ugly. Like, it is horrible ugly. We've never done anything to it. It's still got, like, wallpaper on one wall from when we moved in 20-some years ago. Like, it's just never been a priority. We had kids to pay for, and we had you know, cars and extra car insurance, like everybody else, and college to pay for and all the things. So we never really invested anything in our upstairs. Well, we just had Haley's old bedroom redone because she demolished it. You know how teenagers are. Sorry, Haley, but it's true. And um, Steve and I moved in there, and I said, I feel like we're in a hotel right now because it's so pretty. <laughs> it's all brand new. The guest room, that's going to be our guest room. And we moved in there now so that Fred could come in and do our bedroom. And it is going to be beautiful, but he just tore out the closet. And we had a, like a little crappy closet. He tore out the closet and built a big walk-in closet because our bedroom is fairly good sized. He built a new walk-in closet. Look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? Is that not just really cool? Oh, I think this is crooked. That looks better. And, um, the walk-in closet is going to have a big barn door, a sliding barn door on it. I am so stinking excited to get this done. And then once we get, oh, and we're getting new windows, two new windows in there. Because our windows, like, you could stand next to them while they're closed and feel the breeze blowing your hair. <laughs> I'm not kidding about that. The other thing is, is um, Steve told me, somebody opened one of those bedroom windows, and he goes, you tell people, nobody's supposed to open those windows, they'll fall right out on the ground, and it's true, like they really will. So they're horrible, horrible, we're getting new windows, and then once that room is done, I'm getting a new stamp room, and that's pretty exciting, and hang on, because I'm going to sneeze. Usually there's three. But there's number two. All right, we're good. Okay, you guys. Um, where did my envelopes go? Right here. So as soon as my bedroom gets done, then we're going to take my dressing room. You guys know about my dressing room. It's That's fancy, right? It sounds like I live in a pretty fancy house. But my dressing room is really just a bedroom that nobody lives in anymore. And I get ready for it every, my day in it. And I call it my dressing room. Because that's fancy. Like my summer home. Look at how pretty these are. What do you guys think? Is that not? They're just so fun, right? So fun. I love them. Beautiful little matching envelopes. Who isn't going to love to get that? I'm so glad you're in my life. Perfect for just about anybody. So we're going to take my dressing room and we are going to tear the wall out between it and the next bedroom, which is really little. Like it's only eight feet or nine feet. It's really small. Well, I think maybe it's smaller than that. I could be wrong. But um, we're going to take the wall out between it, and that's going to be my new office. And I'm pretty stinking excited about that. Okay, so hang tight here. i got to find all my things. Where did my stamp set go? Oh, here it is. Love of Leaves Stitched Leaves. This is our stamp set that we're using. And then this was the Tasteful Label Dye. Okay, and this is our mystery stamping challenge. So, um, here's another one that I made. This is the one I made for our team meeting, and this one I use different labels. I use the Stitch So Sweetly labels on here. Same card, same colors, just different labels. So, you're going to do an eight and a half by eleven, an eight and a half by five and a half card base, a four by five and a quarter whisper white. A three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of vellum, a solid colored label, some type of a white label, a piece of ribbon. I think that's it. And of course you can use dimensionals and mini glue dots and glue and three to four ink pads, three to four different colors. And I will put all of this up when I'm done being live. I'll put this all up in a mystery stamping graphic on the page that you're watching right now. Okay? Oh, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Say bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, next. Hang on. I have another one to go here. I'm going to put this back over here. Ooh, oh, my 
goodness, things are falling. We're fine. Don't worry. Nobody got hurt. All right, next. This is what we're going to make next. We're going to be using soft suede ink. I also have some of my Bumblebee, and this ribbon is called uh, Ruben and Cooler. No, um, it's in color ribbon. <laughs> it's a different language. And it's the Bumblebee. We're going to be using that. Here comes our card. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Everybody's saying bless you. You're so sweet. If I am um, if I am missing questions, it's really hard for me to stamp and talk and try and keep my thoughts together and watch my screen for questions and all the things. So if I missed a question, please feel free to ask it again. And a lot of times people that are on here, like you guys, you answer questions for me. And I, I, that is so helpful. Like it's really nice. Okay, here we go. This is our card base, and this is soft suede. It's five and a half by eight and a half. We are going to fold it in half and burnish that edge. Then I have a piece of vanilla. I have two pieces of vanilla, I'm not really sure why. Oh, maybe one for the inside. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> I forgot what I'm making here. Where did my card go? There it is. So, this is three and three quarters by five, very vanilla. And then I should have another one here. Hang on, I gotta get one out of this. Four by five and a quarter. So I only need one of those, okay? And then we've got scraps, and we've got old olive scraps, soft suede scraps, and then some crushed curry scraps, which I'll deal with in a second. Here comes my little, this is a piercing mat, by the way. This is a, it's got just a little bit of give to it, and I wrap it with a piece of printer weight paper and put tape on it to hold it in place so I don't stamp all over it. This is what I use for my stamping layer. So the smaller piece of the very vanilla we are going to play with this big boss right here. Look at this die, you guys. This is the coolest thing, okay? And what I did is I put it, it's got like little dashed lines on it. And I put it down on my layer of very vanilla and I ran it through my die cutting machine. Just like that. And when you do, this is what you get, is all these little stitch marks. And is that not so cool? <gasps> I love this. Love it, love it. Okay, so once I'm done with that, then I brought in the leaves. So we've got all of these leaves, and each one of these has a stitched outline to cut the leaf out. And remember, this goes with the love of leaves, so these all match the leaves that are in here. So it's got the stitched one that cuts out the outline, and then it's got one that will die cut the stitches into the middle of it. So I took this and did that. I cut this out um, on a piece of crushed curry. I took, let me see, where's my, I took this one. I, I assume this is like a maple leaf, I don't know. We've had this discussion before, I can't remember. And you could run this through all at the same time. And I like to use a piece of temporary tape to hold this in place, run it through your machine. And then the old olive one, you actually get two of these smaller leaves. They're the same, I think. They're just, yeah, they're, nope, they're different. One goes one way, one goes the other way. I didn't even realize that till right now. But I took this and put it on old olive. And again, you can set it right down in the middle Put a piece of tape on it, temporary tape to hold it in place, okay? This is what we get. Can you see the stitch marks in these? They are amazing. Look at how cool those are. I didn't even have to stamp anything. But if you wanted to, you could stamp each one of these leaves and you can die cut it with the outline, okay? And then this led me to another idea. So my next card that I'm going to share with you tonight, yeah, I have another one, but besides this one, I'm going to show you what I did with the negatives that were left over from these leaves, or an idea anyways. Okay, um, hang on. We are going to now take our card. I'm going to use my soft suede ink. I'm going to grab that same sentiment 
that says, I'm so glad you're in my life. And I'm going to add that with soft suede ink about right there. Okay? That's all I did. Let me clean that off because we got some more cards to make with this. I'm going to clean all of these off so I don't forget and have an accident, right? I don't want any accident. Okay. Now, we're going to take this leaf and this leaf. Again, soft suede, crushed curry, and old olive. I'm going to glue these down right here. Add a little bit of glue to this one. And my green one. Here we go. And then I'm going to grab this ribbon. This is really nice, like cotton twill ribbon. It's really easy to work with. I love it. So I'm just going to tie a loose little knot there. So all I did was tie a little knot. This and put a glue down on the back. And I'm just gonna add this right to the stem. Okay. Now the other thing I'm gonna do, look how pretty that is. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my card base and the same big leaf. I'm gonna use my soft suede ink. And I'm just going to stamp around the outside edge here. And I'm just doing it randomly because we're going to cover up most of the card anyways. Clean this off. Here comes our card. I'm going to grab my dimensionals and I'm going to put this layer on dimensionals. Now, when you run out of dimensionals, what do you have to do? You have to cut the edges and use them all because these are the same thing as the ones that are all die cut for you. I'm just going to put one here and here and here. Then I'm going to take my take your pick tool. If you don't have one of these, highly recommend them. Add it to your order. You will never ever be sorry that you have this thing. It's got several different ends on it. Um, it's got a putty end for picking up little embellishments. Um, you can get refills. It comes with a refill. It also has a little um, like palette knife on one end. These things are fabulous. Okay, so there, that was my little commercial. <laughs> Hang on, I want this to not cover up my words. There we go. So make sure I've got it opening the right way. I'm gonna put this right on my card front, just like that. It's popped up a little bit. I have a very vanilla envelope here. And I'm going to take my soft suede ink and stamp a leaf on there so that I'm ready to go in the mail with a matching card. Last but not least, hang on. I've got some embellishments. I've got these wonderful gems, and these are faceted, and they have there's red and clear, and they have gold speckles on them that I think are so pretty. And I thought just a little pop of gold would be really pretty with my fall card. I'm just gonna add three. There's there's big ones and little ones of these. There we go. And right here. There we go. Okay, what do you guys think? Is that not just really pretty? And I didn't even have to stamp these. I just die cut them, and I die cut them with two different dies all at the same time. The stitching on the inside, and then the outside that it cut out. Now, when I did that, one thing that was really cool, I was left with all these leaves, but I was also left with the negative part that I cut them out of, and that gave me an idea. So, let me show you my idea. Hang on, I'm going to kind of put these back together so I don't 
misplace them and lose them and all the things, right? Okay, so I got this one. So this one you can see has the stitching on the outside, right? So hang on, I'm gonna grab my next card. Oh, and then I've got some samples to show you using this set too. Here comes our next color palette. And don't let me forget to show you. Oh, I kind of just tore this one apart. Okay, it went back together. Um, we've got this new banner pick a punch. And it does two different banners. It's got the three different channels in it. This is in the holiday mini catalog. If you don't have one of these, gotta get it. Gotta have it. It's so nice. I love, love, love it. All right. Oh, where's my card? Oh, I'm like, where's my card base? So I am bringing in Pretty Peacock. Let me dump all my pieces out here. And then I've got this plaid tidings. And I don't have my sampler put together yet with this, but I will here shortly. But look at this amazing plaid paper. There's Christmas, there's fall, there's Halloween, there's just neutral. This is a really nice pack of designer series paper. Again, it's called plaid tidings. You get 48 six by six sheets in here and it's all double-sided. Let me set that over there. So, I have a pretty peacock card base that is a five and a half by eight and a half. And I hear, I see some people are going to bed. Good night. Those of you that are leaving me, thank you for joining me. And you can certainly watch the replay tomorrow when you get up. Okay. Cindy says she loves those pick a punch. Yeah, these are really cool because you get six different, right? You get three and three different sizes for six different sizes. They're fantastic. All right, I am going to take my plaid, and of course I picked the pretty peacock because of this color of paper. That's why I chose this. I'm going to add this layer right to the front of my card. And here we go. Then I have a piece of crushed curry. This is three and three quarters by five. And what I did was I took this tall leaf and I ran it through my die cutting machine. I put it right in the middle, ran it through, slid it over here, ran it through slid it over here, ran it through. When I did that, of course I have all of these leaves that I can use, but that's not what I was looking for. After I cut this leaf out, it gave me this idea to do this. And once you run all of those through, this is what I was left with. And look at the stitching. There's stitching around every one of these leaves. And I thought, how charming is this gonna be on a card, right? So, we're going to take our dimensionals, which did anybody see what I, there they are. Take our dimensionals, I think I do need to do a little more snipping here. Be careful you don't like nip your finger with these little snips because they are super duper sharp. And when I'm going clipping along through here, sometimes I have like cut myself. Okay, I'm gonna make sure, yep, this is the right side. You can see the stitching is a lot nicer on this side than it is the back. So you can tell which is the front, which is the back. And I'm just going to add some dimensional pieces here to my, I'll put some right in the center. Oh, I need one more down here. And of course you don't have to put this up on dimensionals. You could leave it so that it goes right on the paper. But I like the way it kind of gives it a little bit of a shadow in those peek through windows where you die cut your leaves. Yeah, Susan said yes, they hurt. Yeah, I know, I've stabbed myself more than once with those little scissors. They are really pointy, which is great because sometimes you need super pointy scissors, but it's not so good when you like jab yourself. Okay, here we go. I'll try to center this. 
Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Look at how cool it is. So this is the, after I die cut this leaf, these leaves, I'm like, oh, look at the neat stitching it leaves behind after you die cut the leaf out. And I thought, wow, that looked great with some plaid, right? Then, <clears throat> I've got, oh, where did my, I need another, hang on, I, oh, this just needs to be white. Okay, so, never mind, I'm just talking to myself here because I'm confused. So now I've got a half inch piece of our pretty peacock cardstock and I'm going to put it into my pick a punch. Push it all the way in there. See the banners that it leaves on each end? Perfect every time. I love this. Oh, let me put my soft suede away. Then, <laughs> Marcia says she wants to run and make these cards. I know, right? That's the way I am too. It's like, oh my Lord, get out of my way. I need to go make cards. Then we've got this really nice sentiment that says, hope changes everything. And I don't know why, but with our family, you know, our, our extended family loss this week, I just, the sayings in this um, stamp set are just so, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. They're just so charming and, you know, they could be used for anything. And it just touched my heart. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It really touched my heart that hope does change everything. We had a lot of hope. Didn't work out so good, but... Okay, I'm going to take this, and I've got some white embossing powder here, and I'm going to drop that on here. I'll tell you how long this strip is in just a second, okay? Hope changes everything. We are going to heat set that And here we go. I've already done that. I'm going to set this aside. I'll finish that up later, maybe. And this piece, I wanted to tell you. Did I throw those little bits away already? Are you kidding me? I never am that efficient. Oh, here they are. <laughs> no, I did not throw them away. I'm just going to put these back up to my little banner here so I can tell you how long this needs to be because I, I forgot that I had actually cut it a little bit shorter before I punched the ends so hang on it's a half an inch wide by four half an inch by four yay okay so we've got hope changes everything and then I'm going to grab some of our black dimensionals just because they're handy and this is a dark piece of cardstock. I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on here. And see what I mean by the black ones have the white on the back and now when you pick that off you can definitely tell that you've taken the backing off of them. I'm going to... Now I put my dimensionals here and here so it would land on top of this layer. You know, like on top of the crushed curry layer. I'm just going to center these. And then what I thought would look really nice on this card was a pop of gold. That's when I grabbed my gold thread. Hang on, i got to find out where that came from. Right here. Oh, I forgot. Um, Wonder of the Season Ribbon Combo Pack. So you get this gold cording, and then you get this gorgeous, beautiful satin ribbon, right? So this is a combo pack. These come together in a combo pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my bow jig, and I'm going to tie a little bow. Like I said, I was just kind of looking for a little pop of something blingy, and this really fit the ticket. We'll use, now I don't like to use like a full size glue dot because you're going to see it underneath something so little like this, like linen thread or baker's twine. So I like to take my glue dot and kind of curl it up so that it's not so big. And I'm just going to put that on the end of my banner right here. And then you can't even see it through the front 
of your twine or whatever you're using that's really little. Last but not least, as long as we're doing a gold cup, I thought these would look great again. These are the wonderful gems. So I'm gonna take just a couple of these to add some embellishment to this card. Oh, hang on a second. There we go. Look at that. Is that cool? What do you guys think? Now, I've got another card that I made out of this, but first, when I cut my plaid paper, you have like a long strip left over. So I took and cut it at three quarters of an inch, and now I'm gonna take that and just use that scrap up. I probably won't use it on anything, right? It'll sit in your pack of paper and you'll just never use it. Cut it at three quarters and add it to the inside layer. And you have something really pretty that gives you just a little pop when you open the card. And I just, I don't know, I just think the insides of cards should be decorated. The party should not end when you open a card, right? Here we go. It just kind of pulls everything together and makes it complete. Then I have an envelope. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stamp, make sure there's no ink on this. <laughs> I'm going to stamp this tall leaf right here. And then we've also got this cute little, what I like to call heart-shaped leaf. I'm going to stamp that with the crushed curry. And I'm just going to put that right over here. Oh, I see all the love, you guys. Thank you so much. I love to see all those little hearts popping up. What do you guys think? Is that not really cool? And you saw how easy it was, right? And then, of course, you have all these leaves that you can then take. Hang on, I gotta bring this in here. You can then take the center part and put the um, the stitching on the inside of these leaves, all of these leaves, and you can use them on another card, right? Where did that go? I've got okay, that one. Hang on, losing pieces and parts. And, oh, I don't know where they went. They're here someplace. I'll find them. I gotta remember before I put this away. So this is called stitched leaves, the dies. The stamp set is love of leaves. And then I've got another one here to show you. Move all this stuff out of the way. There's another one. Okay, so this is the one we just made. I'm gonna keep my leaves. Here is one that I made with rich razzleberry. What do you guys think of this? Holy cow, right? I love this one. So Wendy just asked the name of the stamp set, Love of Leaves. Yeah, look how pretty this one is. And again, that's that plaid paper. The paper is called Plaid Tidings. And you guys, when I get done with my Facebook Lives, I take still photographs of all the projects that I show you, or that I make, and I put them on my blog. My blog is right here. So anytime, like maybe the, maybe if your streaming isn't good quality and it's a little fuzzy, sometimes the video isn't that great, you can always head over to my blog the next day. I try to have it loaded up tonight, but it's like, it's a lot of work to take all the photos and edit them and watermark them and ugh, upload the video and all the things. But um, it's always done by the next day. I can say that much. But anyways, you'll find still photos with all the dimensions, all of the ingredients. There's even a shopping list. You can scroll down and you're going to see this plaid paper. You can click on it. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. Otherwise, you need to kind of pay attention to what I'm calling this stuff. This is Love of Leaves. You can go to this online store and um, do a search. There's a little magnifying glass. You type in Love of Leaves and that'll take you right to the stamp set. But aren't these pretty? Like, these are so rich and again this whole idea for this card came from me die cutting these leaves and seeing the stitched edge left behind and I thought wow that's really pretty attractive right so that's where I got that idea and then I've got a couple more cards to share with you this one is by Judith Rodriguez Judith is a fairly new member of my team of discount shoppers 
And look at how pretty that is. Again, with the love of leaves. And then she used some linen thread and one of our little acorn trinkets to put on the top. I thought of you today is gold embossed. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then here's another one. I don't know, I don't have the slip anymore for who made this one, I'm so sorry. Um, if it's yours, let me know. <laughs> These are swap cards. Here's another really cool one using the autumn, the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper, but again, the Love of Leaves stamp set and the um, Stitch Scallop Rectangle dies. And this one is actually a pocket. So that's really cool, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Here's the other cards that we made. Whoops, hang on. The other cards that we made. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the fun colors. Oh, hang on. Let's get this. Boom, boom. Here's my envelope. My goodness, we accomplished a lot tonight, right? See, I felt like I had a week where I just didn't get a lot done, and tonight we're killing it. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and then I wanted to show you guys. Stampin' Up! Demonstrators have an event coming up. It's called the Leadership Summit. And um, we all got Tiffany boxes in the mail that are registered for this Leadership Summit. This is what was in our Tiffany boxes, is these beautiful Italian crystal champagne flutes with the Stampin' Up! logo etched on them. Aren't these pretty? Yeah, Did I have I ever told you that I love my company? Yeah, I know, I do. These are so, so pretty. So I got to open those up last week. Okay, if you have any questions, now is the time. <laughs> Marilyn says you knocked it out of the park again. Thank you so much, Marilyn. You are just the sweetest. Oh, and Ingrid said after you post them on your blog, I print copies and put them in an organizer for this stamp set, paper and embellishments. That is genius. Absolutely genius. Okay, now I'm going to clear some of this stuff up here because I have fun mail to share with you. And I definitely want to do that. Does anybody see my glue lid? I don't know what I did with it, but I'll just throw that over here. So let me pack some of this stuff up in my bin so I've got some room to share all these gorgeous cards I've been getting in the mail with you, from you, with you. I've got a lot of pretty stuff to share. And let's see, put our stamps back in here. I'll clean these all up later. Have a few minutes. Here we go. Boy, I sure can make a mess, can I? <laughs> I always get a kick at what a disaster everything is when I'm done. I know, you guys deal with the same thing at your house when you're doing stamping too. Oh, I didn't run across that one die that does the... Uh, I'm going to be really mad if I lost it here somewhere. Hang on. Trying to be careful. Okay. I almost got it, guys. almost got it. This way. This way. I dumped off over here someplace. I'll find it. I'll find it. Don't worry. And if I don't, you're going to see me crying. That's never a pretty sight to see Kelly crying. As my stepkids and my daughter would say, you never cry. It's like, well, I do sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I cry in, at the end of movies, you know, when they're sad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mail. First of all, let's see. Who sent me this? I have got Nail Teaks Formula 2 Plus, which is nail protein. Somebody sent this to me. It's quite a mystery because I looked at my Amazon account and it, it 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 will not bring this up. It will not tell me who it came from, but somebody sent it to me and I would like to thank you for it because I'm going to try it. And um, it's it's to me. So I'm like, is this a mistake? I did not order this. So who sent it? Oh, did somebody just ask me a question? Hang on. Can we use any stamp set for the mystery card? Yes, you can. And I highly encourage you to use different stamp sets than what I did, because I want to see the cool thing that you guys make with it. So anyways, whoever sent this to me, 
thank you very much. I appreciate it, and I will try it. Okay, here comes fun mail, you guys. Oh my gosh, this one was so cute. I read all of these, by the way. Um, oh, hang on. This doesn't have her name signed in there. Oh, this is from Belinda. Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> With the crown. Oh my gosh, I just feel like the queen. Yeah, it says, you have earned it. Congratulations. As you reach your goal. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, very pretty. Belinda, thank you so much for the heartwarming letter and the beautiful, beautiful card. And then I can't remember if I showed this one to you guys. This one was from Judith Rodriguez. Isn't that pretty? And I found it um, on the shelf under my desk, which leads me to believe that maybe it fell out of a pack that I had previously. And um, Judith is, oh, thanking me for the swap. So I do a swap. Actually, Kathy Miller does a swap with our team every month. Kathy's in charge of it. But we do a team swap every month. And Judith sent me a card to thank me for that. And now she addresses the cards to Kathy because she's really doing all the work for the swap. <laughs> right? This is from my really good friend, Cindy. And look at that. The beautiful, just like Judith, the beautiful sunflower. This time it's in purples, which I think is really, really attractive. And she said, have a great day. Let's celebrate you. Thank you so much, Cindy. This is beautiful. Then I got a really fun card. This one is from Nancy Clark. Look how pretty that is. I love this paper, right? Gorgeous. And it says, wishing you much happiness today and always. Nancy, you are so sweet. Thank you. And then we got a pretty card from Jessica Schnorr. Look at that. It's your day. This is the die set that I just used on this card. Okay. It has this die in it. This round one with the little stitching around the edges. This is so pretty, Jessica. Thank you. It's sure to be a fun day. Happy birthday. That was for my birthday. Thank you so much. Then I got another one here. This is from Janice Waymeyer. Look at how pretty that is. I love the coloring is really pretty on here too and this was for my birthday this is Janice my friend from Indiana very pretty thank you Janice and then oh don't worry there's more you guys <laughs> I have so much mail it's just heartwarming and crazy <gasps> look at this I love the font on this right this one is from my friend Julie Hillsman, and it says, Happy birthday to an amazing woman. Have the best birthday ever. Thank you so much, Julie. You are the sweetest. Next, D, Life. Look at this. This was our paper pumpkin kit last month. Absolutely love this kit. One big, bright, beautiful day handpicked for you to enjoy. You are so sweet, D. Thank you so much. And... Yeah, she's thanking me for a gift that I sent her. You are more than welcome, my friend. Love your card. Thank you. Vicki sent me a birthday card. Look at how pretty that is. I love the birthday stamped in the different colors right down the side like that. I think that's so, so pretty. This is from Vicki Edmondson. And um, she's sending me a happy birthday and a $1 million congratulations. So it's really funny. i got to tell you guys this because it's kind of cute. My, um, my little Molly... Her, was it her mom? No, one of my friends heard Molly talking to one of her little friends. So Molly and her little girlfriend, they were sitting out in the yard talking, and she was telling her girlfriend how I am a millionaire and that I'm really rich. <laughs> and I thought, oh my gosh, the things that kids take out of a story, right? So I'm not a millionaire. I have sold a million dollars in product, and I am certainly not rich, <laughs> but she thinks I am, so it was really cute. But yeah, my friend Rachel told me that, and I just had to giggle. This is from Denise Ray. Denise, your card is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful happy birthday card from Denise. 
And then I have another beauty from Esther Bethke. Look at that. Style. Eternal style. I love the red hats, right? Very, very pretty. And thank you so much, Esther. And I love this purple and the red together. I know that's the red hats color, but it's just pretty. Look at how cool this is. This one is from Peggy Williams. This is a really neat technique. I've done this before, but it's been a very long time. I love, love, love it. And she used the poppy paper. Another happy birthday card. Thank you very much. Then, oh, hang on. I got things getting tangled up here. This is from Karen True. Excellent with the poppy. Very pretty, very vibrant colors. Just like you knew I would love this color, this whole color layout, right? Yeah, very, very pretty. And um, she's wishing me a happy birthday. And you are very welcome and thanking me for all the videos. It is absolutely my pleasure, Karen. Next, we have another one here. This is from Barbara Yeager. Here we go. Look at how pretty that is. Love it. I love this embossing folder. Happy birthday. Have a sunshine day. I like that. I always have a sunshine day, don't I? Next, we have a card from Lynn Peck. Hang on. I stuffed it back in the envelope. Now I can't get it out. There we go. Lynn Peck. Look at oops, how pretty that is. Beautiful, beautiful coloring, Lynn. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for sharing your time and talents with us and your sweet family, Val is a doll. I know, right? <laughs> she was the hit of the party yesterday, I'll tell you that. Everybody absolutely loved her. And for a lot of people, it was the first time they'd ever met her, so that was kind of cute. Then we have another beautiful card from Patricia Perrin. And oh my gosh, this is so substantial. So heavy. Isn't that pretty? Love, love, love it. I love the pineapples. Very, very pretty. This was my birthday card. Thank you, Patricia. Also, Patricia is part of my online technique club. So she's submitting her rewards form to me. And I did not realize that was in there, Patricia, because I took your card out and looked at it and read your note, but I didn't see that. So I will get that processed right away. And it says, happy belated birthday. And no way you're 55, you look 45. Oh my goodness. Did C pay you to say that? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much. Who doesn't want to hear that, right? Yes, I am 55 glorious years old. Okay, here's my next one. This is from Tracy Jacobs. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is. Love, love, love this. This is a brand new stamp set in our holiday mini catalog. And I am thinking that Tracy was in my swap. And that's where that's coming from. Because there's no note in there. And then I have Lori Tibbetts. Look at how look at how cute this is. It's our designer series paper with the cats on it. You made my day. Thanks for the holiday rhinestone basic jewels. Lori was one of my winners and she's also congratulating me for my million. Woohoo! Yeah, Heather says it's funny what kids hear from stories. It really is, isn't it? It is really funny. Oh, and Angie, I'm so sorry. Angie's going to watch the replay. She had a terrible night's sleep. I am sad for you. I slept like a rock star. Oh, my husband woke up choking. And, you know, he had that surgery a couple years ago where he almost died and they jammed some breathing tubes down his throat. So he does have kind of swallowing problems from time to time. But he ate some of my Woolworths icebox cake and went to bed and then he woke up choking. Yeah, it wasn't good. Anyways, he's fine. Don't don't worry, Steve's fine. Isn't this pretty? This is from Elaine Sykes. Thank you, Elaine. I love, love, love your card. It is beautiful. Yeah, and she's thanking me for her video for the videos, wishing me a happy birthday and congratulating me on my million. You are just a sweetheart. Thank you so much, Elaine. Let's see. Do we have time for a few more cards? Oh, I know. I'm going to share. I'm going to share these cards with you. And then I have to show you this box of stuff 
because I want to wear it. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I got this box from Mary Stroman. First of all, it came all bundled up. Check this out. It came with all of this in there and all kinds of stuffing, and it's a big box. Look at this. This is a hat, and it says, well done. So happy for you. Congratulations. And look at this. It's an easel card. Oops, hang on. It's an easel card. It sits up like this. Is this not the coolest thing ever? It uses that, what was that called, mercury glass paper that it just makes it look so cool. So we've got all of this fun stuff. There was a fabulous letter in here congratulating me on my million. And then it says, may God bless you with continued success and happiness. You're kind of a big deal all over, but especially in Wisconsin. <laughs> and this is the shirt that she sent me, and I just love it. I'm kind of a big deal in Wisconsin. Is that not the cutest thing ever, you guys? I love this, and it's that really soft t-shirt material. It's long sleeve. So you can bet that I will be wearing this camping because I love the long sleeve t-shirts. You know, it's too, it's not cold enough for a heavy sweatshirt, but these long sleeve t-shirts are fabulous. And I think this is the cutest thing ever. Mary, thank you so much. I love it. I love the color. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal in Wisconsin. <laughs> You're so cute. That was just the sweetest ever. Thank you so much. And this card is absolutely incredible, right? Look at it. It is just so pretty. And she's got Wink Costello around here. Look at all the rhinestones. I mean, she blinged this baby up. Absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, Mary. You are a doll. Then I have a beautiful card here from Dee Schneider. Hang on. And look at this. Oh, you know what? D. Schneider. Look at how pretty that is. This uses, again, that same, same stamp set that we used tonight. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very pretty. And we have a gorgeous card here. This one is a thank you card. Hang on. And this is from Debbie Bach. Debbie, so pretty. I love your flowers. I love this. And she did all of her writing in here. And she was thanking me. She has been taking care of doing the door prize drawings for my team meetings. And oh my lord, that is a big undertaking. And I so appreciate her help. This is from Terry Mullinax. And it says, thanks so much for the Artistry Bloom sequence. What a surprise and so thoughtful. Looking forward to your lives. And good luck on your $1 million sales. Like I'm a little behind on mail, right? But Terry knows that I made it. So, thank you so much, Terry. Your card is beautiful. And then we've got another card here from Cindy, and it says, a very big congratulations and best wishes to you. And isn't that pretty? And she says, so very happy to know you, and I am. Congratulations. Always knew you would accomplish this milestone. Here's to the next million. You go, girl. Cindy is one of my biggest supporters. One of She's been on my team for a very long time and one of my very good friends from my hometown. So we hunt together. Thank you so much, Cindy. That was just so sweet of you and your card is beautiful. Then we have Barbara back. Barbara, this is just gorgeous. I love your card. It's a congratulations. What an accomplishment. It says, I'm making it to one million career to date sales with Stampin' Up. You rock. You deserve it. Happy to know you. Well, I am very happy to know you, Barbara. Thank you for this beautiful card. <laughs> Cindy says you're a big deal to a group of stampers. <laughs> I know, but it's funny. <laughs> it's always funny when you hear that, right? This is from Karen Troop. Congratulations. She goes, you did it. Congratulations on reaching your million in career sales. Enjoy your moment and take it all in. It's an amazing achievement. Thank you for spreading joy and inspiration in your videos. Oh my gosh, you are so, so sweet. Oh, she also told me that this stamp set is called Stylish Sunflower and it is from 1995. So it just goes to show that some sets never go out of style. Isn't that pretty? 
papers, old, old, old Stampin' Up! paper. I love the strip of gold in there. That's a really good idea just to bling it up just a touch. What a beautiful card. Thank you so much, Karen. And then we have Jessica Schnorr. Congratulations. Look how pretty that is. And here is that die again that's in the set. I am really loving that. Look at Jessica's pretty card. Woohoo, you're amazing. That's a fact. You have what it takes to be unstoppable. I couldn't be more proud. One million dollars in sales. Congrats. And Jessica, again, is on my team. She is an exceptional stamper. She just makes really, really pretty stuff. Thank you so much, Jessica. And then we have a card from Marge Kransky. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I love the birds, right? They're just gorgeous. Congratulations. And um, Marge put in a little note here. She says she always looks forward to watching my videos on YouTube. And she started collecting mice many years ago. So that's what the mice are on the inside. A little mouse on the inside of her card. And she said she, I was not a stamper. Then I started using the stamps and I was hooked. Mostly used paper from craft stores and I found that there were many that I couldn't do because the paper crafter was unsatisfactory in some way. Then she discovered the beauty of Stampin' Up! products when she was given some paper as a gift and made a purchase from when she had made a purchase from a scrapbook company. I'm so glad you found Stampin' Up! March because it really is exceptional quality. And that's one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! Okay. I think, is there anything else that I told you I was going to do? I still have more cards, so if you sent me cards, do not fret. I still have them. Um, I will show them. I think we need to call it a night. It's 8.30 already. <laughs> we need to call it a night. I'm going to flip my phone back around. This is usually when problems happen, so if we get disconnected, just know it's okay. We're done for the night. Lots of times when I flip my phone around, now the sound starts getting wonky and it starts breaking up and you can't hear me and uh, all the things happen. But I can see your comments when I'm looking at you this way. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate it. I always have so much fun on Sunday nights. I will be back again next Sunday, August 23rd. My um, stepdaughter, Anna, yelled at me tonight. She's like, you need to stop having Facebook Lives on Sunday in the summertime. I was like, no, no, no. Everybody likes Sunday. <laughs> so, I don't know. But um, I don't know if we're having a party next Sunday or not. And I'll keep you guys apprised to that. Because if we do, I might reschedule to Monday. But at this point, I don't have any plans to do that. So... Just know that, I know it's hard for me, it's hard to drag myself away because everybody was here today and I'm like, sorry you guys, I gotta go take a shower and go to work. And they're like, ah, oh. yeah. So I guess it's nice to be loved, right? <laughs> they don't want me to leave, which is probably a pretty good sign. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, thank you for all the love. Thank you so much. I hope you have a fabulous week. Remember, I do have some online classes that are still available. I still have, I made up extra packets. If you ordered the DSP samplers, I will be sending those out in the mail. I'm hoping Kathy and I can get them all done tomorrow. Um, we have most of the work done. We just have to start packing envelopes and stuff like that. Also, I have a new online class coming out using the Gilded Autumn. I don't have advertising out for it yet, so... Um, don't worry, you haven't missed it, but I will be advertising that soon. Um, also, I have an online kit class coming out with Ashley, and quite frankly, I can't remember what we're going to be using, but I'll advertise that soon also. And mystery stamping. I will be posting all the details for the mystery stamping tonight so that you can start making your mystery cards and share them under the graphic. And all you have to do is come to this page, Scroll down until you see the August Mystery Stamping graphic. It'll tell you all the details there and what you need and how it works. And then you're going to, just like you're going to type a comment, when you go to type a comment, there's a little camera next to that comment space. You just click your camera, take a picture of it, load it up. I can't wait to see what you guys make because your stuff is beautiful. I love seeing what everybody makes. And this is what it's all about, sharing. Let's share our talents with each other 
share what we've made, just sharing the fun. Gives you something to do. If you're sitting at home, do some mystery stamping. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a great week. I will see you live again back here on Sunday, uh, August 23rd, 7 p.m. Central Time as of right now. Have a good one. Bye-bye.